Home should mean that you are safe at the end of the day. When I was young, home had always been a place of fear and anger. It felt like I was walking on eggshells. So there was this constant fear in the back of my mind as an Indigenous woman, having to move completely to the other side of the state, away from everything, was super hard. Until you're a kid living in a situation where you're <laughs> trying to find your next meal and your next place to stay, I think you'd, you will never understand how hard it actually is. There was a lot of times where I slept in the streets, parks, train stations, and especially being a, a young woman, it's really confronting and really scary. I was left in a position where I had to make a decision if it's safer to go home with a stranger or sleep on the street or go to that crisis accommodation. I was a child and I made decisions that no child should have to. Knowing that there was no system built around me, built around young people, built around queer people and built around trans people, it felt hopeless. Tens of thousands of young people are turning up alone to homelessness services across Australia every year in need of help. We are calling on federal, state and territory governments to provide 15,000 homes with support for young people across Australia. The Home Time campaign means hope to me. I always say I wish I could give that girl a hug and tell her that she'll make it out on the other side because she didn't think she'd survive. But we did.